How to knit the keyhole buttonhole. English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Imperial Yarn, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Erin line in the color Rain. The keyhole buttonhole is a simple and quick buttonhole that is easy to put into any 2x2 two two ribbing and consists of just a couple of decreases and increases to make a large eyelet. Uh, it fits very well in the pearl groove in the 2x2 two two ribbing, uh, but you may be able to adapt it for other types of ribbing as well. So let's show you how we do it. Okay, once I've reached the place where I'm placing my buttonhole and I'm going to do my decreases, I am going to do a slip slip knit for step one. So I'm going to slip the first stitch knit wise and then the next stitch knit wise and then I will knit those two stitches together. So this is going to decrease the stitches. It's also going to allow the uh, top rib here, the knit part of our rib to lay on top of the purl stitch so that it's mostly invisible. For the next stitch, on step two, I'm going to knit two together, and this will let the other part of our knit rib lay on top of our purl stitch. And then we'll just purl or work in pattern till the end of our row. Now I've worked to our decrease stitches from the previous row, and for step three, I'm actually going to purl the next stitch, and then I need to make two. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to cast on two extra stitches. The way I want to do that is with the knitted cast on. Now you can do this with just a normal make one stitch where you loop the yarn around your needle with kind of like a hitch stitch like this. Okay, but I find that that's a little bit too stretchy for me. So I'm going to use the knitted cast on. I'm going to flip my work around and we will knit into this first stitch and draw some yarn through. Then I'm gonna place that loop on my main needle or what is right now my main needle and I'll do that once more. So we we'll only need to do this two times because we're adding those two stitches that we decreased. Then I'll turn my work back around and I will begin working in pattern again. So I'll purl the next two stitches and finish my row as normal. And that's pretty much it. We're going to continue working in pattern for the next few rows or however your buttons are spaced out in your actual pattern. So here I've done about 10 rows in between each buttonhole and we can see our new buttonhole has been formed right here and it will be integrated once we knit across this row in pattern. So that's how we create a keyhole buttonhole. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.